Hello from Sketchtape. In today's video I'd like to show you some of the new features in our latest catalog and toolbar. So here I have a kitchen model with uh, some of the product from the latest catalog and some scenes set up. And if you're used to using the old catalog you may have noticed right off the bat that we've added uh, hidden lines for the shelves. So that's good when you're going to lay out represents a number of shelves. So if we were to update this It updates the hidden lines to represent. Also added door swings and drawer front swings. So let's go back to 3D and turn our textures back on. This catalog also responds to global attributes. So we can access that, access that on the toolbar up here with that option. And here is a list of attributes that these cabinets use. And we have them grouped by different types. Common attributes should be changing a lot. Door attributes, drawer attributes but you can sort them and group them however you like. You can also export this out to a text file and then import them in. So either save different configurations or take configurations from one SketchUp model to another. But let's uh, change the doors and drawer fronts here. So let's change the drawer fronts to a flat panel and the doors to a raised panel. We'll hit redraw. It's going through and applying that attribute on the cabinets. So now we can see we have style and rail doors, raised panel and flat panel. And let's check the uh, style widths. They're two and a half. So let's make those a little wider. Again, we can do that with global attributes. And let's see, we have style width of three and rail width three. And we'll redraw again. We zoom in. It's a subtle difference, but now we have, we measure three inches by three inches. Okay. We'll take that back to uh, our slab fronts. And one, and let's add a light rail. Okay, so they've all gone back to slab. And if we do a quick section along this cabinet, we can see we have a, a light rail there. Some other options, um, the wall cabinets, we can use SketchUp's component option window up here in the toolbar. And uh, we can finish the top. And you can see we get green direction and edge banding. And we can uh, turn that off. You can use either option, either the sketch data options window, which is what we have here, or up here in the toolbar, there's the component options that are built, that's built into sketch SketchUp. Um, one of the advantages of this toolbar, or our options window, is that uh, you can work in fractions. You can also change layer and add some tagging to the cabinet for some reporting. But we can uh, turn off the finish. And back the way it was. Additional feature to this catalog is that it supports multiple colors. So if we go over to our materials on the right side here, we can see we have two color swatches in here. We have one designated here. It gives us the control over the edge of the banding, face of the case, face of the door, face of the interior, face of the toe kick. And then we have the second one, color number two and we have similar options. So if I were to highlight this cabinet and pick a color group of two, then it should give it more of a maple maple look. So now you can mix different colors in the same room.
Well, that concludes what I'd like to show you today. Um, we went over, showed some of the shelf references and door swings and the global attributes and the ability to do multiple colors in a single model. Thanks for watching.